Hello, this video is about Facebook Business Manager so that you can set up ads. So you go to business.facebook.com, set up an, an account and put it under your company name. Uh, it then may ask you to set a primary page associated with your account and that primary page should be your agency Facebook business page, not one of your clients. So I'm pretty sure you just have to have some sort of primary page that's connected so that they know that you're like an actual business business. Um, once you do that, you usually do not land on this screen. You usually land, let's see, on a screen that looks somewhat like this. It would have your logo here, whatever you've uploaded, your ad account, or not your ad account, your business manager account right here. And then as you scroll down, if you have any ad accounts, they will be listed here. You can, um, you'll have your pages listed below. So to add a new page, you actually want to go to click on the blue button on the top right, business settings, and it'll bring you to a different section within the same uh, platform. Here on the left hand side, you can scroll down through many options. So the most important ones are going to be people, pages, and ad accounts. That's what I found to be the most important. So under pages, you'll see that I have the pages that this account is currently connected to. And to add a new page, you would click add, and then you can actually add a page, which means that your page, that your business already owns this page or you need to own it. So like if someone else made an account and they want to move it and you actually own the page. You wouldn't use this very often for your clients because you're not trying to take ownership of their pages. You're just wanting access to their page so that you can do stuff on it. So here you'll request access to a page when you have a client. And uh, so you'll click here and you can actually search for your client's name or put their URL in of their Facebook page, whichever works. But as you type it in, let's see if I can find yours. So here we go, J Grant Marketing and Consulting. So I just put in your name and I can see your logo and click on it. And once I click on there, I then have to specify what what permission I'm hoping for. And usually I actually just click scroll all the way down to admin access and click manage page. And that will toggle over all of these as well. And it basically gives me the right to do everything I want, create ads, change settings, do whatever. And that's usually what you're going to need when you are managing a, um, a client's Facebook page. And then I would click request access. Once I do that, J Grant Marketing or whatever the page is, is going to receive a notification. Sometimes the notification will come up in their actual notifications tab for their company page. Other times they actually have to log into Facebook, go to their page, then click on settings, then user roles, often called page roles. But anyways, settings and then page roles. And within page roles, they'll now see that there is a new request for an agency to actually manage their page on Business Manager. And they have to click to accept that. Once they do that, it will then show up in your account here and then you'll be able to do ads, do whatever you want. You can click through to actually view the page um, on Facebook right here, view page. Uh, so anyways, once you do that, and they're on here you and they're in your account you then would want to add people to that page so like for example if i click on green tree currently chris and i each have two facebook accounts because we're crazy uh anyway so i would then add people and you would add yourself so your name would be listed here and you would click there and click manage page and assign Weirdly enough, the, the page can be in your account, but you're not individually assigned to it, which then hinders your ability to set up ads for them and associate the page because you're not set up as an admin. So that brings me to the People's tab. Uh, this is our main ad manager account, Spikefly Reviews, but we still had to set everybody up actually as part of this account. So you can add a person, put their email address in, um, and give them admin access or employee access. So admin access, of course, it's they can do everything, change people, they can kick people out, whatever. Employees can work only on assigned accounts, which you specify for them. So that's helpful. Um, 
Okay. And then the advanced options, if you had ever had someone who was just dealing with money, which that's probably not going to happen, but you could uh, allow somebody to come in and just do payment stuff and not see everything else. So that is that. Uh, people, pages, and ad accounts. Let's see. Inst I know you're doing, um, you're going to want to do Instagram accounts. So if you do have a client who has an Instagram page that they're active on and they're wanting to run ads on, I believe if you click here on Instagram accounts and then press add, you can then log in to their Instagram pages and it will sync it into this business manager so that when you're creating an ad, it provides that page as an option that's already been synced and allows you to simultaneously run ads on Facebook and Instagram at the same time. And it's actually associated with the Instagram account as opposed to what I currently do, which is I don't have any synced accounts, but I'll still run ads on Instagram and Instagram will show them. But if someone clicks on it, it will never land on an Instagram page. It will only go to their website or a form, whatever I've specified here in Facebook. So anyways, I will send a second video on how to create ads. Okay, 